Hi guys and welcome back to Honkai Impact. So I would like to finish this at least so I can get the uh, the stuff I was working on, like the starter packs or what tutorials, uh, something starter whatever where I can get like things. What is this? Crystallum. What are those? <laughs> The music though, I really love the music. The music is absolutely amazing. Ooh, we're lightning. Okay, and this girl is locked. Okay, okay, okay. He looks cool, not gonna lie. I would have gave him a better name if I would know. Well, okay. It's a little bit harder than I expected. Yeah, because like the controls are completely different <laughs> and there are bosses, pretty tough ones. Okay, so I'm starting it right now. Oh yeah, oh boy. Okay, start. Oh god. Run! I don't wanna be... Shit! I don't wanna be hit too much. I hate you, you are so annoying. Hey, jump, don't forget to jump, don't forget to jump! Okay, I'm gonna juggle you in the... These muffles are tough. Oh my god. And there is a boss. Oh, she's too hard. Okay, I, I might be able to. Do stuff with Mei, because Mei is kind of fast. Oh. Oh my god. What is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god, what am I supposed to do? Oh, oh, did she just run away? <sighs> Don't give me a heart attack. Oh 
Yeah. Hmm. What is happening here? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, duh. Obviously, they were based on humans. But why? Who did that? And why are they doing it? Creepy, yeah. I agree. That's even creepier when you put it like that. <laughs> this is way more creepier. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, overseer, okay. She? Who is the overseer then? Previously, at least in the current... Well, in Kiana timeline, oh my god. <laughs> it's a dude, I, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Combat rating raised, okay. Yay, I finished this. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I finished it. <gasps> Album. Oh. Grow to Fountain. Disaster. Oh, this. Oh, this. Oh my god, yeah, this. This was exactly what I kind of skipped through. You start on the vantage point and look at the giant floating mass in the distance. Yeah, this weird crystal thing. I skipped through it, so I'm gonna read it. What on earth is this? I have no idea. The setting sun stained the sky red. The dusky glow flickered around a strange floating mass. I mean, it looks really cool, though. I love it. You suddenly felt that it was pulsing with life. The red light seemed like blood flowing in its veins. Okay. Thinking about a mission. A familiar voice came from behind. Do I need to do this? Okay. You'll write the mission report this time. Oh, this. Can I change it? Okay. True. I mean, I mean, I'm not very happy with my own choice, but I did not know. Miss Raiden chuckled and looked to the strange thing floating in the sky. You don't know? I don't know. Nobody knows. Weird. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is unidentified flying object. What else it could be? Yeah, what else it could be? She's so cute. I like her. Okay. Oh yeah, the Mr. Wealth disappearance. So, Mr. Wealth disappeared and then... Di Maybe he's behind that. Maybe he's behind that, whatever he is doing. Oh yeah, that is. Okay. Fourteen days ago. Official visit to Sun Fountain. Okay, it looks pretty good. I just skimmed through it. So. Kira Airport. Magla Train. 
I mean, yeah, they're in Africa, right? Wow. Sad station. Hmm, that's very suspicious. Extremely suspicious. Maybe he is behind it. Willingly or unwillingly? That is the question. Yeah. Okay, so that is what are we dealing, dealing with. Okay. Well. That's it. That's how it always starts. Hmm. Often when missing. During the Honkai War. So he was a warrior. Oh, he's a Hersher. Interesting. Maybe... Hmm, I don't know. You never know. Even a good real of friends might can go a little cray cray. I mean, duh. Whatever that happened. Yeah, it could... Absolutely. Everything about it is fishy. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Then what is happening here? Yeah, very creepy. Yeah, okay, so someone is trying to do something. Someone is creating these weird things. But like they look extremely creepy for some kind of reason. Huh. Okay. Yeah, okay, so that's very strange. Very strange. Maybe someone is trying to utilize his harsher powers, like the stuff inside of him? And that's why this is happening? Hmm. I don't know what. I feel like he might be used as a guinea pig. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what was happening. Yeah, okay. After before. Okay. Files. Mission report. Okay. Raiden May, affiliated member of Anti Honkai Squad number three. Target. Joachim Nokian Virtanen. Current name Walt Young. So he has more names? Okay. Rescuing him. Info. An independent city in southern Africa with a population of about almost 3 million people suffered severe damage during the Honkai eruption, has undergone good post disaster reconstruction, and withdrawn from the Shiksal relief program six years ago. Okay, so they were doing fairly good. Joachim, ex sovereign of anti entropy. Oh, of anti entropy. Present <laughs> anime producer. An original art director at ET Studio. He applied for a business trip two weeks ago and then arrived in Cairo by air. The next day he lost contact after taking a magla train to the Sun Fountain. Maybe there where someone was is using him. 
Oh, so he wasn't doing like a normal thing, having a normal life. <laughs> In the game industry for the past five years. Okay. Okay. Audio. No recordings. Photos. No photos. Albums. Oh. Confidential. Labor force. Does not have much combat capability, not dangerous as a single unit, but try not to fight a horde of them. Body structure similar to that of a primate, but likes major nerves and tendons. Wow, you were looking at it that deeply? The mechanics of its movements require further study. What's that thing on its hat? An eagle ray? Huh. Interesting. Oh, I like this. An aerial unit. Oh, when I look... Oh, this is disgusting. Now when I look closely at it. You know, when you're fighting, you kind of don't have the time to look at it too deeply. Ew. Normally works as a commander or a support. Has a defense field. Can heal other units and provide them with tough shields. The field has consistent strength and can neutralize impact force, so it is human to have attacks. I suggest using fast and repeated attacks to deplete the field energy. <laughs> Made for Miss Raiden. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, uh, the mage and details. Okay. Oh wow, this one is huge. Kind of cool looking, not gonna lie. Emperor. Has high durability, yeah, and defense, and ultra tough graves. Avoid the ground confrontation, its heart is the weak point. I'll make the assembly presumably based on Asir Hamdal. My half eyes to skin crush it with a single finger. <laughs> They're just complaining. Or, I mean, okay. It looks stacky and cheap. I never buy this lame model. What? <laughs> I love that I'm just like. Adding stuff to it, that's funny. <laughs> Frederick and Nicola Tesla, Albert Einstein, but Liesel and Frederica. Okay, you are interesting people. An aerial unit, normally assume patrolling duties, may also have surveillance functions. Who named code for the lovers? Lame. It's Senpai. Yeah, it's me. I'm like. I'm not gonna say anything about this. <laughs> I'm distancing myself from this. Oh, this one. This one is tough. Strength. I mean, that's pretty... <laughs> what are the naming? A combat time unit with four arms. Wields energy swords to unleash melee attacks. Mostly take supervisory patrolling duties. Its swords can generate energy shields. Has a very high death. Very dangerous. Yeah, very dangerous. Has joints and muscles similar to that of a human, but has no similar body form or physiological features. Can anyone get one of those swords for me? I need to take a look at its strange energy source. I mean, that could be useful, not gonna lie. Okay. Very useful. Very useful. That's been very useful. I just love us just sitting here. Writing. What is this? Rating intro. In addition to slight gain... Um... Okay, I don't know what the hell this is, but okay. More talking. Yeah, tough. Hmm. That's a little bit of a problem indeed. I don't know who this Carol chick is, so... I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Completed. Level 2, okay. Okay. More? Files? Okay. Ah, oh, the Fountain Tour Guide. 
You walk in the sand fountain. This beautiful city is located at the southernmost part of Africa. Nestled in the gentle coast of the Cape of Good Hope, surrounded by the rocky headlands known as the Lion's Head Bay. Sand Fountain has Mediterranean climate and is mild through the year throughout, which makes it perfect tourist destination. Absolutely Mediterranean. The mountain what mountainous environment here has enabled diverse landscapes. Balhenberg Beach on the northwest of the city is a world class sur surfer's favorite. Bother's Beach to our extreme west is the only natural habitat for African penguins. The only temperate penguins in the world. Yeah, because others are like very up the north. Right? I mean, they're like in real world. Uh, they are like few penguins which do not live in north, I think. I don't know if it is like the only one, but I feel like they might have been seen in different areas than they are originally from. There are massive grasslands with beautiful white flowers and that bloom every spring and summer. The mountainous area around the city plain is also a scenic spot. Visitors can also hike Table Mountain. Oh, the Table Mountain. The interesting favorite. Table Mountain, a holy site once exclusive to Swahili royalty, and uh, view the entire Lion's Head Bay from the overlook at Mauz Mausoleum of Saad, built during the Mustang era. Enthusiastic hikers may also challenge Mount Iblis, the highest peak of Sun Fountain. Ah, oh, the da Table Mountain, I know about that. Swahili royalty. Sun Fountain City Government Reminder Visitors are advised to stay away from the coast and mountains due to the likelihood of disasters. West Down has been closed for clearing away debris left by the tsunami. Oh my god, tsunami? Sun Fountain and its surrounding areas are populated by many indigenous wildlife and plants. You bet. It is home to at least 30 endemic bird species. Humbug whales. Oh, humbug whales are also known to gather and mate at Falls Bay. Yeah, that's why these places should be, re like, not many people should be coming there. <laughs> and, like, bother the nature. There's no surprise that bird and whale watchers make annual pilgrimage to Sun Fountain. Our unique climate and geography makes us the perfect home for exotic desert and mountain plants. Yeah, like, endemites are, they just live in there, nowhere else. Right? Yeah, like, this all sounds very nice and kind of, like, good, but in reality, a lot of wizards just do a lot of shitty things, so... I'm not gonna lie, even though I love nature and I love visit these places, I would be like, you know what? I don't want people coming here. <laughs> but again, like, those countries and cities will make money out of the tourism so they can put those money into preserving the nature so it's like i mean a little bit of tourists maybe doing some little bit of shit in the nature but like a lot of money and we can preserve it so like yeah it's it's tough situation <laughs> but personally i would be like yeah no no people no tourists only people which you know what are doing like scientists and such Sand Fountain has a fabled diverse history. Old Moor Town and Mausoleum of Saad and Table Mountain provide an immersive atmosphere of the ancient Mustang era. The Portuguese fort at the Cape of Good Hope also harkens back to the age of maritime exploration. Oh my god. Imagine living during the time. Exciting. Like, um, also pretty shitty. <laughs> but exciting a little bit. Settlers from the low countries also left their legacy in the form of the Dutch East India Company building and one Hoek Hotel. San Fonte definitely has plenty to offer for visitors interested in the history and culture. Yeah, a lot of history. San Fonte's tribute. What remained of the Portuguese fort was entirely destroyed by the tsunami last year. Oh, that's sad. However, the disaster also turned out to be an expected blessing. First time visitors to San Fonda can show their passport to the blah 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 tourist bureau for a free visit pass and tour the beached wreck 
of a second world war career oh my god yeah just go into the <laughs> why would you want to do that this is a little bit exploited this is like a little bit too much i mean yeah i personally would like to see it but like i don't know i, I don't feel that good about like places like this and tourists coming there like it's you know just like something to look at and i know you probably can like learn history but i don't know it's like tourists coming down to titanic and good thing about that is titanic is pretty deep down so not many tourists can go there but like i don't know i feel like these things should be left there maybe like with drones coming down but like not openly and definitely not coming close too close because it's like disturbing stuff right yeah and like i remember i personally we were visiting a concentration camp and like yeah you learn a lot of history but i don't know like a lot of people being there it just doesn't feel right you know like given what happened there yeah it just i don't know <laughs> i don't know but like the atmosphere there it's true like nothing in the world like damn damn like if if the amount of tourists would be small then probably okay but like a lot of these places there are like thousands and tons of tourists and they're like maybe we are disturbing this place where horrible shit happened maybe a little bit too much like maybe we should you know like tell that a little bit down and it's not only like with historical things but also like with nature yeah well i'm going off tangent san fountain is a city of diverse cultures the victorian style governor general's office and 17th century barracks style dutch wine museum complement each other perfectly old moor town adds an exotic vibe to the city as well the Moorish Bazaar is one of the biggest retail areas in the Sun Fountain. You'll get plenty of handcrafted ceramics, pottery, and the most extensive selection of Swahili cuisine in the side of Africa. There's also a Shenzo town at the Cape Boulevard if you crave for some authentic bites of Shenzo. I don't know what is this. Those who wish to learn more about African culture can visit Plaza Oasis that offers a most complete showcase of sub Saharan goods and merch. For discerning culture connoisseurs. I don't know. <laughs> Reminder, Plaza Oasis is still flooded. Uh, uh, SFCG is doing everything it can to repair the damages. We apologize for any inconveniences caused. I don't know, like, I mean, if there was a freaking tsunami, that's like, that comes with it. But again, people, right? There's would be like, oh, why can we not go there? We paid for this. With like, bitch, there was a tsunami, people died probably. <laughs> the people of San Fanta and our hospital house. Your safety is guaranteed in the city. Um, this recently launched initiative to provide pay tour guide services for visitors who intend to visit those exceptionally hospital areas, such as the Moors and Cable Award. We hope San Fanta leaves a beautiful and lifelong impression on you, Tourism Bureau. Wow, 2015, that's a very long time ago. I mean, even for this world. <laughs> Irrelevant files. I don't know, I don't find them pretty interesting. Well. Okay, I guess I'm going to come back to this. Uh, that was going for a little longer. <laughs> okay, so what? Is it just me or this is changing a little bit? I don't know. There are weird stuff floating. Maybe I did not know this before. I don't know. Creepy. Okay. May frowned. It was always she was troubled by something. You don't say. Of course, I mean, it makes sense. This weird thing happening, we probably need to look at it. Oh wow. What is she doing? Where is she? Will we 
Will we be able to do all of this alone? What? <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. Okay, well, why? What's the problem? What is happening? What's going on? Oh, really? Why? What is the problem there? How old is she? <laughs> oh damn damn that probably really sucked for her <laughs> she's like but next time next time i will be even better <laughs> yeah once she tried that she would be probably better next time <laughs> i mean they couldn't find her yeah very good so she needs to be more clever about the many problem Okay, but who is she? Why why she doesn't want to go here? What's wrong? I, I mean, I want to know what's wrong. Why she doesn't want to go here and how old is she? I mean, yeah, she, I guess, belongs to Shiksal. Ah, goddamn. Hmm. Well, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Oh, are you... I was just about to say, sounds like Kiana. So something happened to Kiana. This feels a little bit spoilery. Tiny, just tiny a little bit. If this is not an alternative universe. She gazed into the distance and briefly lost her soul in thought. She quickly recovered and smiled. Okay, working on it. Yep, working on it. If we could trace their origins, we might be able to identify the mastermind and their reasons for doing all that. Yeah, exactly, I want to know also. I will try. I will definitely try. Okay. Can I... Oh. Oh. Excuse me? <laughs> What's that thing behind? That crazy shit behind? Okay, main character. A balanced melee fighter who wields a two-handed sword with medium attack speed and damage. Versatile against all enemy types. Deals primarily physical damage and can cast ultimate to enter burst mode where he deals fire damage instead. Builds up ignite trauma to ignite enemies. Next. Yeah, that's what I... Excuse me? Talent branch A. The basic attack branch is on the top, including basic attack, joint attack, and impaler mark. Joint attack deals fire damage and builds up enemy ignite trauma and without burst mode. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> Impel mark imp amplifies damage taken by enemies in the air. Effective against aerial enemies or enemies able to be knocked. So this is just like attack stuff. B. Special attack branch is on the left. Okay, special attack QT, skill rating, bonuses. At high skill rating, the whole team can gain extra SP region to cast ultimate more often. 
Okay, C is evasion and leap, okay? We will be doing a lot of that. Including ultimate evasion, evasion counter, ultimate leap and leap counter. Okay, trigger global time fracture. And what's this? Okay, D is ultimate branch. Including two ultimates and burst mode. Bleeding flames can ignite enemies and crowd control minor enemies for very long. Crowd control. Heroic hack has a great attack range and deals more damage to enemy crowds. Okay. Oh my god. They have here to unlock the first skill of Prometheus Fleeting Flames. Okay, confirm. Oh my god. I mean, it looks cool. Pretty speed, the hard fire rings at the enemies. I mean, it looks cool. Look at it. And I can upgrade it. Okay. Wow. Evasion leap. Ah, uh, until level 6 required. This is max leap counter. Leap axe. I'm definitely going like with evasion stuff. I can do this. Okay, tornado. How much? Uh, I will wait a little bit. Shut up! I'm going to be doing this. Oh my gosh, she has a special tree too. Oh my god. Right in May, an agile melee fighter who wields a katana with fast attack speed and long hang time, effective against minor or aerial enemies. He lightning damage, paralyzed trauma, immobilized enemies. I mean, yeah, I I think I did paralyze to that weird female roboty monster, whatever that it was. Tantra trap and immobilize enemies. Okay, yeah. Oh boy. So, okay, this is attack. This is special attack. Same. This is evasion. Same. And this is the special. So, paralyzed, thunder trap, whatever. Okay. Oh, goodness. Skill 7. Maxed. 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 Okay, I would need to wait. Hey, this is pretty cool. And what is this? Oh, this. Okay. Oh my god. There's so much. I'm going a little bit back to see if something happened here. Why are you opening? I don't care about pocket supply right now. Finally! Claiming this baby. Okay, phase six. Oh, okay. 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 So I need to complete this. Forging equipment. Yeah, I did all of this. Okay. What's a phase seven? Oh, five of these. Oh, me wanna. And 800 of these. Yep, me wanna. What is this? Valkyrie option. I don't know what that is. Okay. Okay, a lot of that. Okay. Should I be continuing? At least a tiny little bit? For tiny a little bit longer. The side mission's location is marked on the map. Eight of May. Start. Okay. Okay, don't forget about jumping. Okay. 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 Okay, cool animation, bro. 
ま、ファイアリーボーイ。この人間。思ったより簡単じゃなさそう。Oh Okay, eating all of those things. Uh... Oh no, you... Okay, I wanted to juggle you. You're a little bit annoying. Okay. Oh, thank you, Meg. Okay, wait a little bit. What? That was fast. <laughs> it was too fast, lady. But I'm getting used to these. Oh, it really wants me to do this. You're annoying. Okay. Back to base. Okay, that was fast. <laughs> okay. Wow, um, mm, slow down there a little. Okay. All unlock skills can be practiced here. Tutorial. Ooh. The tutorial stages are always available. The rewards can all be kind of one, so. Practice. Okie dokie. What am I supposed to do? I don't know what they want from me. Okay. Okay, switch. Character. Ok. 
Okay. Try to reach the platform above through follow-ups. Where is it? Oh. Okay. No. Whoops. No. <laughs> okay, jump. Switch. Okay. Okay. No, stop running. Jump. No, 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 no. Woman. This is not. No, I want to jump. I want to jump, baby. Oh my god, this is going to be... Okay. No! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Try to read the platform above. I'm doing this. I can't. Up. Almost. Come on. <laughs> no. Stop running. Stop running. Stop running. Please. Oh my god, I won't be able to do that. <sighs> you want too much from me. Ah! No, I'm there! Stop it! I'm not used to cameras like this. My controller is killing me. Okay, may squeaky is triggered off enemies born by using like an aerial basic attack before enemies are born. What was that? Those are some interesting moves. the beam okay
Okay, Nagara's Security E can be triggered off an enemy's hit shield broken by May. Use May to break the shield first. Okay. Down. Oh, I didn't know about this, but thank you. Okay, I can go all go away. Haha, <laughs> we running, we running, we running. Whoa! Go away from me. Go away. We managed. We cool. The rain in my ears. Okay, this is funny. Okay. Okay then. Yeah. Ultimate leap. Okay. New ah, oh, it was like this one, switch follow up and QD, and there's like way more. Oh wow. Okay. I will slowly learn them. And I got this things. Oh my god. things okay I think I'm going to end it here um, with this yeah is that a manual 1.4 heroes 3 and up oh okay that will be fast I guess I really like this pose honk I ought to say the story is intriguing, like the gameplay is completely different. We're playing as one character, but like it feels like more personal, right? And woman, because like with story in Honkai, I can switch Valkyries, so it doesn't feel that personal involved, despite the story is really good. But like in this Odyssey, I also like the story is happening about a character I play as or characters. So it feels like, I don't know, more personal. And I do really like that. But it might be a little bit spoilery. Whoopsie. <laughs> but I'm like invested. Funny. I'm so invested like in the main story and then this story. Yeah, like these. Um, how they are called? Yeah, the open world stories are pretty good so far. Like I like that one with Sakura Samsara. That was really great. And then, like, this one is also really good. Wow. I did not expect that, like, for side stories. And there are, like, more side stories. Yeah. Wow. I definitely need to, like, play all of them. Yeah, that was unexpectedly good. Absolutely. I did not get any supplies. Probably not. Right? Don't remember. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm saving some of these. Maybe for a better shit. Yeah. So. 
Yeah. Like, from what we've seen, I will give that story 8 out of 10. I'm, I'm so intrigued. Like, I like that it's it plays differently. I like the characters. I like this version of May. She's so different. And I love her. And, like, I'm intrigued about other characters and, like, what is the mystery behind all of it. But, like, the main story is, so far, what I've seen, 8 out of 10, absolutely, too. So, like, okay. Honkai, okay, you're surprising me still, and I love it. For a free game, and I'm, I'm playing it for free, like, for free, for free. I would not expect that. <laughs> wow, we You're delivering good. You're delivering very good. Yeah, so I guess that's all for now. Goodbye and see you next time.